thank you very much. Welcome to TEDx Kenyalang. I would not rap. I would not sing. Probably no pantun from me. I'm just an ordinary person uh, who would like to share out of my heart. Honestly speaking, I I'm not really have time to prepare for this uh, important session here, the way I look at it. But anyway, most important thing to me is I share what I believe in. And I will not share with, to, with you uh, something that is what others have experienced. Probably my, some of my thoughts today, probably, you know, it's not in line with what you have seen the video just now about procrastination. Because as a finance per person, I, I would consider myself as a pure breed finance person. And finance are mathematics. Finance are mathematics, finance are precisions. And precisions means time. So I always say this to my students. Always come late for class. I would tell them that, you know, I would remain, I would reserve the front seat empty. You know? Normally in class, in lectures, the, the front row will always be empty. They will fill up the last row. Okay? So I said to them, those who come late, I reserve them the first row. You know? So then the student asked me, why should, why, why is that, why the special treatment? Because those who come late are the VIPs. Only very important people come late, right? So when they come to class, and when they come, they want attention. So that's what I want to treat my students. So in finance, in my class, in my lecture, I always want punctuality. Because to me, finance is all about time and money. Right? I don't know whether you agree with me or not. Time here refers to what I mean by time is time as the clock, the ticking, and also the multiplication. As I said, you know, as I shared with you just now, that uh, finance is all about time and money. So, no matter what book, what references that you go, if you if you go to the finance sector, you always find time and money together. I was telling some friends on the floor just now that uh, uh, a bank in Malaysia would not open the business not until it's 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. You can come early, as early as 8.30 in the morning, the security guard will just stand and look at you in the, in the glass door. He will not open the door until it's 9. And as I was a stockbroker, as I was a stockbroker, the, the terminal would not be on. You cannot key in any stocks or orders, not until it ticks at 9 o'clock, but it will stop exactly at 5. So it's about precision, it's about time. So i like to share with you, to be successful, I use finance as, the, as my guiding light in my life, actually. Not to be too um, uh, overzealously saying that finance for my life, but I mainly use finance principle as a guide to my life, which I consider myself successful, sort of, you know, to a certain extent. Because I believe the most important thing in life for you to be successful is about punctuality and no pro procrastination, which I don't really agree with that. <laughs> okay? I'm an amateur, I, I, I'm not a good speaker, I don't have a voice of... Uh, a good voice, okay? I don't have, I can't sing. What more to say? I dance, I don't do that. But I always believe that punctuality is the key to success. If you, can honor, if you cannot honor time, what else other you can honor? I don't know whether you agree with me. Would you rather to meet me at 8 o'clock or would you rather to give me 8,000 ringgit? If you can honor to meet me at 8, 8 o'clock, then I cannot rely on you of giving me 8,000 ringgit. I don't know whether you agree or not. Uh, that's number one. Okay? Just now, uh, what 
but call uh, this uh, Alvin. Talk about the 10,000 rule of 10,000 time. Okay, I like to use this uh, I, book written by this uh, Malcolm Gladwell. I like to share with you uh, what interesting thing that he wrote in the book that I just like to share with you briefly. I would not be taking too much of your time on that. But what I see at the end of the day is what Alvin said just now. It's about hard work. So another recipe for success, which is related to finance, that Malcolm Gladwell mentioned is about time. 10,000 times you need to hit that 10,000 times in order for you to be a, a successful man or a woman. So then again, I agree with Malcolm Gatwell that 10,000 times means to say you need to work very hard. Not only hard, but very, very hard in order to be successful. So now, now we have two already. One is punctuality. The second, the second one is Anybody remember? Very good. The one I'm just testing whether I'm, I'm talking alone or I'm talking to a, a listening audience. Okay, and then, he did mention about 10,000 times. In, in his book, he mentioned about Bill Gates, he mentions about many other successful figures. But what attracts me most is this uh, school of uh, children, uh, I would say children, studying music at Berlin Elite Academy of Music. A study was done on those people. For those students who enroll in this school, in this academic, they are the best in the world. They are the cream. So among the best, if they graduated from the school, or if they finish the school, they are either the best in the world, or they are good, or they are not going to be professionals. And he further says that there was a research done on, on, on these students. And evaluation over evaluation was done, and he found out one important thing. Is that the, the world best student always practice more than 10,000 times. You know? Practice, 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 and work very hard towards it. So I want to deny the fact that hard work, punctuality, which, which refers to your principle, and it all boils down to time and money. And what I, I feel very important here, I like to stress to be successful is that, because this is the principle that I use, to be honest with you, that it's a commitment. Okay? It's your commitment to your time. If you are committed, if you are committed, that's the whole idea. You're willing to go through the, the hard time, the hard work that you go through. You will not work very hard for something that you don't believe. But what makes it more important is your commitment to that belief. That is, uh, I believe, it would add into the equation. Um, as I said, success is earned. Yeah, success is earned, and success is earned through hard work. And I don't believe in work smart, uh, work less, uh, work less, and work smart. Something like that. I remember my teacher used to say that. I don't believe in that. I always believe in hard work and dedication, because you can work smart, and you don't work hard, you achieve success. But your success is not sustainable. Your success will not be sustainable. But if you go back to the books, if you go back to the empiricals, you go back to history, and you look at the, the story of any successful person, it's always the hard work and consistency. Okay? So these are the uh, first principle that I shared, and I have actually gone through it, and I believe in it. Okay? And then I think the second principle is I like to share is about opportunity. About opportunity. Yes, opportunity, opportunity knocks. Everybody get this op 
opportunity to be successful. Be honest with ourselves. Opportunity comes to the right person at the right time. Well, we say that, well, opportunity was not given to me. No, opportunity is given equal to everybody. But what differentiates between a successful person and a less successful person is when they don't harvest the opportunity. Opportunity is given equally. It's just that whether you are able to identify the opportunity, take the risk. And then this goes back to my principle of time value of money. For you to see whether you have actually harvested the opportunity, you ask yourself, how much time you spend on a particular opportunity that is given to you? I understand most of you here are young men and young women. Okay, of course, there are some, well, not so young men, not so young women. If you are a couple, suddenly your girlfriend breaks off with you. You should have the answer already. It's time and money. No, I mean, not so much of money, but <laughs> money here refers to commitment. But how much time do you spend with her? So then they answer your Always you go back to, your, you ask yourself, any opportunity strike, you always, and, and you lose it, you ask yourself, how much time do you look into this uh, opportunity given? So what differentiate between, uh, what do you call? Between an, a successful person and a not so successful person is when they come across opportunity and they're willing to invest in the time in order to secure the opportunity. Okay, so these are what I always believe in life. And as I said to you, uh, my dear audience, that I myself come from a very, what do you call, simple life, as I don't sing, as I don't dance. Probably I'm a boring person. <laughs> but one thing I believe in principle, what I learned in finance, that you need to be, in order to you, for you to be successful, I would say successful is very subjective. Successful in a very right way. You must be, remember, you must be punctual. Okay, number two, anybody? Hard work, very good. Number three, ability to harvest the opportunity. Okay, the word harvest is very important. So, with that, I don't know whether I fulfill your, what you want to know, but I know you know all this already, but it's just a sharing. I just like to share off the cuff my own personal experience. I will not talk about other people's experience, but these are the experience I can share. I can honestly tell you I believe in, even I hold it as what the Malay says, uh, genggam, api, hingga jadi bara, something like that, right? Uh, so you must hold to that. Whatever you believe this is your opportunity given to you, you hold to it, no matter what people say, no matter how long it takes, you just hold on to it, believe in it, you'll be successful one day, in your own way. Believe in that. So I believe, time's up, right? Thank you very much.